Hello everyone, welcome back to Isaac, that's on minus four because I did three blue baby runs on greedy mode, completely failed at all of them and decided never to try it again. Then I did a Maggie run which I died on because it was a complete train wreck and then Audacity crashed while saving the f audio file so I don't have any audio for that episode so you're not going to get to see it which is good because it was shit. Now, I kind of want to play a challenge, let's try a challenge. What have we got? I didn't like Bass Aquas so we'll try it again. Let's try April's Fool. We'll come back to Bass Aquas because we did try it a few times in a row. Now, April's Fool, I believe, is where you... It's, it's an extension of the original April Fool uh, daily challenge. Where you have an item, and it isn't the item that it says it is. Oh, we've got Mega. So, everything is lies, basically. Um, you can see we're jumping around the map. <laughs> okay. Uh, runes are what they say they are, but... The first floor boss is the bloat. <laughs> but they're not where they say they are. So the ordering is maintained. When you uh, navigate the map, it's just that it lies to you about where you are on the map, basically. It's not quite like Curse of the Maze, in which it just moves you around at random. It is lying to you about which room you're in, but it's not lying to you about how they... It's lying to you about how they're connected together, but it doesn't change its lie about how they're connected together, so it's just wrong. Just, just survive this fight. This is... This is very unfortunate, actually, because if you think about it, we had Mega Blast to start this run with. We didn't know. We managed to get to the boss just in time to be able to do some damage with Mega Blast. But not quite in time to actually kill the boss with Mega Blast. Which is bullshit because the boss is the bloke. So, we almost completely cheesed this challenge from the beginning. But what we're actually going to do is just take it slowly. And then do that. Fucking done it. First floor bloke, out of the park. So that is not what it says it is, it's Mr. Dolly. It is actually Mr. Dolly as well, so that's really nice. Uh, I'm not sure whether the next time we use our so-called deck of cards... Oh, right. You can break this challenge easily as well, I remember. Uh, not sure whether we next time use our so-called deck of cards, whether the deck of cards that we use will again be uh, Mega Blast. So, everything's randomised. Right, we know that's the item room. Uh... There's no point going to the shop. Everything is randomized, including pickups, which is why we have a uh, golden heart. Because the three hearts that we picked up were consumables and a golden heart. It's how you end up breaking the game. Because the more that you pick up more likely you are to have golden hearts. And those golden hearts, once established as hearts on your life bar, are really golden hearts. So then you drop, you, you get hit, you lose the, uh, that was probably one as well. You lose the golden heart, you get all the money, the money all does weird ass stuff. So we were in, you can see that we visited the spawn room and we visited the room that we were in and it says it has a chest in it, which is correct, etc, etc. So, you can see that the map doesn't lie about where you've been and where you are. I wonder if that's really the two of spades. It's just an anemic, okay. Uh, but it lies to you about which room you're currently in. So, that was Scuppy said. So, every time you use this, it's going to be a different thing. That makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but it's an April Fool challenge. So, if you take it sort of at face value. Now, if we get hit, we're quite likely to take... Uh, the golden heart off the top of our set. But, turned out to be five. That's interesting. <laughs> it was a nickel, but the nickel was made of keys. But, so, in there is that. So, so, now we're in that room. So, you can see how the actual layout is correct. We're in the room next to the boss, and in that direction, there's a room next to the shop. Means this might be a super secret room. As long as you understand where you really are. Can we take this just before we go? Rules card. That was 
a rules card. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking bloat again. You bastards! Hate you all! There we go. So some of these will be bombs, and some of them will be keys, and some of them will be actually coins. Some of them will be HP. That was terrible. Why did I do that? So we lost another um, golden heart just now, but we also have at some point in the past picked up several spirit hearts and things. So it kind of makes up for itself in some respects. Ah, there we go. We lost a lot of spirit hearts. Honestly, I'm not expecting to get a deal with the devil when we're fighting the bloat on every fucking boss fight, but you know, you, you can't. I was going to say you can't win them all, but that's literally why I'm here. So, we have to at least try to win them all. You know, got to be the very best there ever was. Well, I'll step between a rock and a hard place there. Just don't die. You learn a lot about the way the bloat works when you um, have terrible damage. And have to beat it. This is not plan 9. This is magic scab, which takes pin luck upgrade, which is nice. We can't actually get to the shop, which is interesting. I mean, we can't. No, look. First of all, we'll go up here, back into this room. Do you see the layout of the floor is correct? It's just. We'll open this, because why not? Not many of the things that we're using have turned out to be actually coins. Uh, collecting. Have turned out to be actual coins, which is strange. I think what you notice is how bad I am at this game. Uh, how many. consumables there are, and when you randomise them start getting a lot more interesting uh, synergies going on. Like we, Now that we know that the bloat is going to be there. So that's not a golden bomb, that's a golden key. The spirit heart was a bomb. We can't pick up the heart because it thinks it's a heart. But when we do pick up the heart, it probably won't be a heart. Huh? What are you talking about, Willis? So we've got a, two golden hearts. We have got a golden key, so if we really wanted to, we could We've also apparently got effectively chaos. So this could be five anything. It was five golden hearts. <laughs> you, like you don't tend to think of golden hearts as even existing in the game because they're so rare, right? I mean, occasionally you'll pick one up and go, "Oh, golden heart, interesting." Um, well, we have four of them now, so we're going to be set for cash, except for the fact that when we pick up that cash, it won't be cash. It might be even more golden hearts. So it does um. It does kind of snowball, and eventually variance brings you money as well as golden hearts. But I think now all consumables are equally as common as one another, which is the several types of heart. That occurs to me that that eternal heart that I decided not to pick up on the previous floor might not have been the world to the space. So this strength card isn't. This key was a bomb, which we could use there. Oh, hello. This Sagittarius, which is what I would very much like, it's probably not Sagittarius. It's Tech X, which I like even more. Okie dokie. We might as well use our bomb now because we have a good uh, a good fight to play against the bloat. We have an advantage, is what I'm trying to say. But I can't remember the word advantage on such short notice because I haven't been speaking English for very long. Why do you keep putting me in that room over there? There's a room over here. Do you see it? Maybe that's the boss room. So this time it's actually telling the truth about which room we're in. Which I am grateful for. Spirit Heart. Uh, we got a full Black Heart now, so that's fairly nice too. Wouldn't mind if one of these turned out to be a bomb. So that I could access the golden, the stone chest and get an item that turns out to be random anyway. Verp. Fair enough. Verp turned out to be speed down. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I have... It's hard. Might as well use this. It was a chaos card. Well, if I'd known. You know. So I know where the super secret room is because it's already told us. Tammy's head? What does this do? With. But it isn't gonna do it. Ah! Oh, you have to think of so many things. I really like this challenge. Apart from the fact I failed once. That's neither here nor there. Well. I wanted to get rid of the fires because they would hurt me. In so doing, I have cost myself a chance at greatness. Right, now we're starting to get somewhere. You see, once you get the economy of 
consumables go in. You start getting a ridiculous amount of spirit hearts, and once you've got a ridiculous amount of spirit... Oh, you fucking dick. Once you've got a ridiculous amount of spirit hearts, it's basically anybody's guess. Oh, well, that was nice. Did some damage. I think Tech X will stay with us, actually, so... This run is starting off to... Even though the last run, we accidentally got a... Basically a floor's worth of Mega Blast before... Uh, anything else even started happening. This time we were actually off to a much stronger start. And it's hard to imagine that you'd be off to a stronger start than Mega Blast on the first floor. But this time, of course... Um, speed and damage. Okay, cool. Uh, this time we have a persistent strong start rather than just a generic one. Now, our... Tammy's head is basically a one room something charge. We don't know what it's going to be. Right, that was actually a very good play, so thank you for watching it. Uh, we don't know what it's going to be, so we should use it every room. Because a one room charge. Well, that was the razor blade. That was a dull razor. The dull razor is a great item. Uh, I'm a fan of it. It, it. it causes damage effects without causing you damage. Which is really nice. But you can see now that we've got so many golden hearts. And so often when we pick something up. It's likely to become a spirit or black heart. What was that? It hurt but I'm okay with it. Uh, that. <clears throat> that was actually the small rock. Do you think that could only be the small rock? It's, uh, it's so likely to be a spirit heart or a black heart. That we have started an economy that we. Almost can't lose him. Okay, D12. Try not to stand next to this. I'm sorry, what? Uh, try and stand next to this exploding barrel is what I said, and then I took damage from another barrel exploding, which is mildly confusing, but... I think we've got this one down pat. Mom's coin purse contains... Things I won't take it. 2020 turns out to be the goat head, which is ridiculous. So it looks like it's a... It's a real item with the wrong effect on it. So everything else, it's, it's the same thing every time. Just thought your RNG is not. Oh, it is. It said bad gas, but it... I am very confused now. So we want to go into this room and then down. I'm looking for the item room. <laughs> it's nice to feel like you're actually... Okay. This <laughs> is forgetting me now, so we're doing this room again. It's nice to feel that you are successfully understanding what's going on and successfully explaining what's going on. But in fact, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Look at that. So those nickels, at least one of them, was a nickel's worth of hearts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Following. So we can't pick that up, but even if we do pick it up, it wouldn't be what it says it is. A self-sacrifice room might actually be a good idea because the chances are that it will continue to pay out with more HP. I don't really want to try that. <laughs> oh, help. Mystery sack. Just go. <laughs> what is happening? So we've got a random space bar in every single room, basically. Which is fine with me. So the item, what it says on the pill, Pretty might be what it does. Because when we used the 48 hour energy pill, it told me that it was bad gas, but the, uh, that was terrible damage. Pill itself, oh, that was a Bible, said it was 40 hour energy, like in our inventory. What have we used there? I think this has given us, yeah. Judging by the music, that was just um, Unicorn Stump. That didn't really help us too much. Okay, let's go in here. I mean, we could buy anything and it won't be what it says it is. Not that we can buy anything, because all our money has been HP, which is, you know, revolting. How dare it. Dodge that. See, I'm getting the hang of this. Heck it. Why not? Spending HP has never been better. I don't even know what my HP is, but I don't care. It's amazing. So that said, feels like I'm walking on sunshine. This says I found pills. 
It was I found pills. So the words in our inventory are true. Rely on that. <laughs> Hang on to it. Another bloat fight. This is very, very, very April Fool's Eve. But I think we got this one down. Watch out. Our Tech X rings are sufficient that it doesn't matter where we stand. We can hit the bloat. And the bloke can hit us because I'm bad at dodging his eyes, but that's irrelevant. Devil? Devil guaranteed because of the item that we have. The belt is a speed upgrade, even though it wasn't what it said. We'll buy it. Why not? Cambium Conception is fine. Get money, which probably refilled our HP, but who knows. So we want to go down, 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 that was probably the 90s, which means the 90s were a great time for music, which means to say that I can only remember a couple of songs from the 90s, and that's one of them. The 90s were a terrible time for music. That is a secret room, because I'm a genius. Uh, I want it, but I can't have it. <laughs> I was hoping for the Bible, in case you were wondering. I don't really care about the pill, because I don't tend to care about pills. I don't even know what that song was called. I only know the sound it made when it took a man's life. So this is not fast bombs. What? Might as well go in this room as well. What the heck is he had of fast bombs? Oh, interesting. That's very Mega Man. No, nope. that's very Bomber Man. Bomber Man, clues in the name. Mega Man. To be energy resources. So Tech X has basically won this run for us. And then the uh, ridiculous consumable imbalance. I'm going to call it. It's an imbalance, man. This challenge is not a challenge. It's just a ride. It's just fun. It's entertainment in its greatest capacity. What's causing our things to change every so often? Oh. Liberty Cap is actually Liberty Cap. Colour me surprised. Did you buy anything yet? Probably not. It's interesting that of all the coins we've picked up, so few of them have actually been coins. Okay, I'm going to buy everything that I can. You know, from the devil. Something's going to turn out to bite me in the arse, no doubt. Just waiting for this to turn out to be Plan C when I press it. Look at all that HP. I didn't think we had anything to worry about based on the fact that every time we lose HP we get money and money turns out to be HP more often than it turns out to be money in the first place. But, um... Great. I didn't realise we were doing so well. It seems like they keep... I think it's five HPs of some descriptions when you pick up a nickel. Or it could be. So if the nickel rolls as HP, each HP that you pick up out of the nickel... Wait, where are we? So we're going to go into the big room now. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, each page P that the nickel turns out to have been becomes rolled independently as to what type of HP it is. So we get five HPs, which could end up being... Papa Fi. Hmm. Um, any type of HP, right? So whenever we pick up 5 HP, we actually get some spirit hearts, some golden hearts, a mixture of them all. Which is why we've got so many golden hearts and spirit hearts, because if we pick up a nickel that turns out to be HP, we basically reset any damage that we've ever taken on the entire run. So on the previous run, all the damage that we took on the bloat fights, which were bullshit, uh, just, there was no fixing it. But on this run, there's nothing but fixing it. I'm going to do this because why the fuck not? Has any of this HP actually been HP yet? Sorry, has any of this money actually been money yet? Because the thing is, I can't really pick up anything else because it's not dropping. I can't pick up HP to see if it turns into money. Maybe money is the only thing money will not be. That would make sense. So whenever you pick up money, not only do you have an equal chance of it being any other type of consumable, but you have a zero chance of it being the consumable that it is. Does that suggest that each item has a zero chance of it being the item that it is as well? So that was actually Mr. Dolly once again, but again, the HP that we pick up actually did turn into money. So Gup is poor. We can use indefinitely. 
And the pentagram, that's pretty nice as well. So we can just spam the spacebar and get every spacebar item that could ever exist. What is this game right now? But now I'm scared of it turning out to be plan nine. Because if you spam that, spam that so often. Uh, sorry, plan C. Plan nine is a operating system. <laughs> it's an experimental operating system. Plan C. Plan nine from outer space. Uh, if it turns out to be plan C, use with caution. Well, we didn't use it with caution. We use it with foolishness. So we go back in here, pick up all of these. Is Libid? Did we pick up Libid? I don't really want it. So yeah, I think the strange thing, mostly right now, is that picking up money is not giving us money. It's giving us everything else, which is why we can't die. Which is annoying because kind of cheapens the challenge run when the most common consumable turns into the least common consumable. Telepills. I can see forever is nice. And I think that's what it really was. Yeah. So, we should wander around a little bit. Sure, we'll do this. Ow. <laughs> what? Explain. Yeah, so these spirit hearts are never going to be spirit hearts. But they are turning out to be other useful stuff like keys and hopefully money, maybe? And then he walked into that bullet, because that's how I play this game. You can't tell me how to play the game. I know how to play the game. If I want to walk into a bullet, you can damn well sure that that is what I have decided is the best strategy. I don't know which room it's uh, pretending I'm in when I'm over there, but I ain't in it. I don't mind those when, um, we know that's not a sick room, what you've been doing. I don't mind those when I've got great damage and piercing shots. <laughs> so you might be saying, you know, go on, do it, do it, do it, press, press up its paw until you're blue in the face. If we had nine lives, I would do that. Rest assured, if we had nine lives, I would keep going through the chance that it turns out to be Plan C. What is Plan C a reference to, please? Again, these spacebar items could be anything. And now that I've realised it could be Plan C, I think it's certainly going to be Plan C, and I can't think of anything else. So, that eternal heart was not an eternal heart. What was it? Basically, I think that works on uh, Papa Fly, though. No? What's the even point? Well, I got teleported out. I think that was the undo button thing. There is a shop nearby, but I am beyond compare. No, I am beyond care. I'm beyond reproach. As we've pointed out, with the nearly walking into a bullet thing, if I decide that walking into a bullet is the correct way to play the game, it is. Uh, yeah, we'll take apparently that, and we'll beat Krampus and get one of the two items, and it's probably going to be a lump of coal, because if it's cramps his head, it might as well have a one charge space per item than a six charge space per item. Two charge. You know what I'm saying. Uh, we're nearly there, to be honest. There's no point going to the shop. The only real things we can buy for seven cents are spirit hearts, pills, cars. <sighs> Not really that inspiring. The other thing about this is that you can... Um... Hello? Nice. <laughs> Not picked that up yet. The other thing about your uh, the challenge here is that you can basically see where things are. Because you have an idea of where rooms exist. So you can sort of wend your way through them without too much worry. I mean, as long as you're paying sufficient attention. Uh, map plus... It's, it knows I'm in that room, but it's telling me I'm in that room. It's quite stuff. All in model. <clears throat> Don't really know what I'm hoping for. Seven cent item, maybe? Trinket smelter. Done. I wasn't trinket smelter. That was a bomb. So we're in this room here with no way out of it, so I think we go back down again. It's consistent about which room it pretends you're in, at least. So you want to go sideways and maybe around the back of the shop? Ah, I hate this room. Nope, apparently that's not true either. 
Probably up through the other L-shaped room then. I mean, I know where there are rooms, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know how they're connected together. It's just giving you a few more glimpses into the map. It's not really giving you away the secrets to the kingdom or anything. Still not a key. Let's try this. Pretty much guaranteed to give us more HP back, right? Because every single time we lose an HP, it gives us all this money. Which gives us more money. Yeah, bring it on. Maybe it's not going to do anything. Because I'm feeling like if I beat the angel statue, that was nice. That was a lucky penny, but it didn't give me any money. We might be able to get some... Uh, more items, basically, because I don't think it's going to be the key pieces, because we'll pick up the key piece, and it won't be the key piece. So I'm kind of giving up on the space bar item idea. I, I really like the concept behind a run that is 100% random. Oh, it's the other way around. It says it's not a key piece, but it is. Fine, then. Uh, I like the idea of a 100% random run, but it is... It basically takes a, a, a lot of stuff away, actually, as it turns out. Because everything is randomised, all the pools are basically deleted. Linger bean. Crying makes me toot. Why do this? No reason. Uh, if it was a space program, we could have put it down and re-rolled it, I guess. But now it's trivial. We've got past the point of the economy where we can no longer die. Because every health that we lose gives us a huge chance of getting health back. It's almost impossible not to get health back at this stage. And we got good damage. I suppose getting a random item this early on gave us sufficiently good damage that, you know, it's, uh... <laughs> Fuck. It's almost guaranteed. I mean, even if we took damage on this fight right now, we would still lose uh, a golden heart and therefore get loads of money, just like that. And then one of them would be HP and we get it back. Which is exactly what happened, in case you weren't paying attention. We have them both? No. Oh, I see. So the mom fight was actually too... I, I, I understand, but I hadn't realised. I mean, which one do we like the idea of most? I guess we don't take any of them because we haven't got a clue. We'll buy it, because it's the devil I am. Sister Maggie, it's shit. But we get our everything back anyway, because when we pick up... Sorry for the way we picked up the dime, it would be 10 different HPs, but it didn't turn out to be. But at least we can go out again. But I don't want to, so... <laughs> it's not. We could have tried to steal one of the items from Boss Rush and just run away with it, but... Why? At this stage, it seems like... Kind of a cheap play. We've already broken the game, which was broken to begin with. I mean, yeah, as I was saying, it's the balance of the game is all shot. You know, we have this, uh, that wasn't feels like I'm walking on sunshine. That was like, speed down or something. Or just question marks straight up. The balance of the game exists for a reason. Oh, hello, we uh, got Cambi and Conception to pay out, even though I don't remember taking that much damage. Ah, we took the damage on the self-sacrifice room. That was a brilliant idea, because it meant that Cambi and Conception would pay out. Good idea, thanks. Um... Speed down. Brilliant. Balls of steel down. So, yeah. Mm. I'm glad it's only one run and not like a mod or a, a game style or anything because it's just silly. <laughs> okay? I'm a fan of silly. This is a good silly and I'm glad that it is. You fucking bastard. Glad that it's constrained to its little haven of silliness right here. I mean, we could just walk into enemies at this stage and just beat the game that way. Somehow I got half a spirit heart out of that, but okay. I actually didn't get as much HP out of that as I put into achieving it, so. The economy has gone to shit. Fuck the economy. Apparently. Uh, although I guess we can now pick up spirit hearts and they'll turn into money, maybe. Are they? Yeah. I'm just wending my. I'm not even looking at the map! <laughs> just guessing. It's just working out so far. Oh, it's the bloat. 
There's a surprise. Oh my god. We just got owned by... I mean, it wasn't uh, quite as bad as Plan C would have been, but we just got pretty thoroughly owned by Glass Cannon. <laughs> oh yeah, snap. Screw is fine. But we got ourselves back up to HP, so I'm okay with it. Tammy's Pandora's box. We'll use it. Oh, it wasn't Pandora's box. Pretty fly is pretty fly. Question marks is infested. infested. Wait, what? <laughs> so this is really explosive diary. Oh, my brain. <laughs> Just get through it. <laughs> Just get through it. At least we'll have done a challenge. Um, I've been feeling a little bit like we're not making any progress recently, uh, which is true because we haven't been making any progress recently. Uh, but getting back onto getting the ball rolling again, I guess, is what we're trying to do here. And this is basically an Azazel run, except it's a challenge instead of uh, a real run, which is also fine. Oh, it's a long way to the boss. If you want to rock and roll, it's a long way to the boss if you want to get your trophy. Which I do. I nearly walked into that. See, sometimes my brain says, hey, jerkwad. Which is my brain's affectionate name for me. Don't walk into the thing that I have registered before you walk into it. I hope you're pleased at my vigilance, diligence, etc. Brain, seriously. It's not clever and it's not funny. So that room actually told us we were in the secret room. So if I'd have been paying attention and not accidentally got the secret room, I would have known where the secret room was. I would have got it anyway. Uh, that is a boss trap room. Might be worth doing. Not seen this uh, bomb item actually before. I don't know if we have to unlock it and it's just available in this game because this game's randomised. We have an eternal heart all of a sudden. I guess that's the downside to having all this uh, stuff. Random stuff is that eventually you get HP that you don't want. I guess we're not going down to the next floor anyway, so whatever. This seems like the sort of challenge that should go to Mega Satan because it kind of wins itself. Are we there yet, Mum? These things I hate, and I wish they would stop being part of the game. Because not only do they disappear so you can't actually hit them, but you also can't find them, bastards. You end up walking into them. You can't avoid them. You don't know where they are. Nice mid sad. Uh, store credit, sure. That's exactly what we want. I was going to say, I'm sure the boss is around here somewhere. Turns out, totally is. What caused that? Ah, that's that, uh... That's that, uh... That's that, uh... <laughs> of course, Mom's heart is... Uh, it's the bloke! I didn't see that one coming. There's a, a new champion that causes damage to everything else in the room when it dies. Why? Let's see what we can get in here. It's dark matter. Very well. Look, let's just leave. We have succeeded in a challenge. We have succeeded in recording. Maggie now holds a pill. Brilliant. Uh, we have succeeded in recording an episode. So thank you for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. You know what to do. Leave a like. That helps me. Subscribe. That helps you. And I hope to see you in the next episode, which I will also successfully record. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you.